Hello parents, Mr. Tucker here and thank you very much for tuning into this help video today. Uh, in this video I'm going to explain a few of the questions that have been asked in yesterday's parent webinar. Thank you very much to those parents who logged on. Uh, what I'm going to do is do these parent webinars every Monday at 6pm excluding Easter Monday um, and this will hopefully be able to answer any questions that you may have about using technology at home. Okay, these parent webinars are mainly based around the Spring Cottage Primary School use of Google for Education and Google Classroom. However, if you feel like these webinars will be a beneficial to other parents from different schools, then they are more than welcome to join in with the meeting. And what I will do is at half past five, post a link on this is on the Monday, post a link to your child's Google Classroom, and then when you go into classroom, you'll be able to see the link and then be able to go on from there and view the webinar and ask any questions that you may have. I will also set up to stream the webinars on YouTube, um, if possible, every Monday as well, so other people can watch them as well. Okay, so the main question yesterday was around accessing documents that have been set by the teachers, and I've passed that query on to all the staff at Spring Cottage and shown them how they can share the documents with you to enable your child to have their own unique version of the document that they have been asked to do. I'll show you an example. Okay, so what a lot of people were finding difficult was on their classroom, they were logging on and they were seeing that a new task was set for them. So here's my demonstration task here. Okay, and it has the document here. Now, if you have any questions about the documents that you want, obviously here's a class comment that everyone can see in the class and you wanted to ask your teacher something privately, uh, you could ask them on the private comments uh, section. So if you were struggling with any of the work and you did, obviously didn't want the rest of the class to know, you could ask a question in the private comments section. Okay, what a lot of people were finding was that when they clicked onto the task, that they weren't actually able to go on to it, okay? They weren't, they weren't able to, to edit the document themselves, okay? They couldn't go on and type anything, okay? This was just restricted to what the teacher had set. So like I say, I have spoken to the staff about that and trying to make sure the sharing settings are enabled as we're all getting used to using this technology. But in the meanwhile, if you cannot find a way to get onto the document, you can use the web address at the top to help you. So when you can click onto this top bit and it will either say something like view or edit at the top, okay? If you type in copy instead of edit or view and then press enter, it will ask you if you would like to make a copy of the English task. So what you do is press make a copy and here as here, set up your own copy of the English task, okay? And my pupil alias on here is user1. So I will name that user1 English task. So my teacher knows that that is by me. And I can complete my diary of lockdown. And um, day one, I did some reading on reading plus for example okay remember this saves automatically look as it says all changes saved in drive and once you have finished your task what you can do is add work from your google drive when you click onto your google drive here it has your english task it has the original document but what we're looking to add is the new one created by ourselves and we can attach that and hand it in when we have finished. Once you've handed it in, you need to the teacher needs to review it and send it back to you. But if you feel like you've made a mistake and you want to take it back, you can press unsubmit and take that back as well. So then you're able to obviously change the document.